Today is gonna go either one of two ways. I'm either gonna go to Printworks and get in, or I'm gonna have to take myself to the Tate, probably drunk. <laughs> Fingers crossed it won't have to be the latter, although I wouldn't complain if it was, but that is the plan today. I have found, right, so basically for anyone who hasn't been watching until now, I sent my passport off to the DVLA to renew my license and I had to send it because it's a French passport, I don't have a British one. Because with a British one you can just do it online. So I sent it off almost four months ago I believe and I still haven't got it back. So I haven't really been able to do anything. I am 30 but no one believes me. So <laughs> I can't buy a drink, I can't get into certain places. But I just found this ID card from when I was at the first university I went to. It expired in 2013. Do you know how old that makes me feel? Hopefully, I'm gonna take that with me. I've got a photo of my passport. I'm gonna take a letter, like a bill, with my name on it. I'm just trying to think. I've also got, on my Instagram, I've worked with alcohol brands, so obviously you have to be over like 21, I think, or 18 to do that. So fingers crossed, they'll let me in and it's not a place that like has to scan your ID, but we'll see. For now, I thought I would show you guys my updated makeup routine because I've been getting so many questions. Yeah, I thought I would show you. Oh, I need to do my skin, I haven't done my skincare yet. I've already put on this product, which is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I got sent this the other day. It's so good. It, it tingles, but it's really effective. I'm gonna go do my skincare because I've somehow forgotten to do that even though I showered and I'll be back to show you my makeup routine. Do you guys see that gold balloon down there? I think that's Pierre telling me he's with me again. That is so bizarre. <laughs> when he passed away, me and my partner, it was my partner's idea actually, my boyfriend's idea, but we let off some gold balloons of helium in them. That is so weird. There's just so many signs at the moment. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm gonna do a more in-depth tutorial on my brows. Usually they would be laminated, I do it myself, but I just needed to give them a bit of a break because they were getting a bit fried. Yeah, so they're not gonna be as beautiful as they can be, but we move. So basically the first thing I do is I use this Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I don't know if that's even in focus, but it just looks like that. I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of that over my brows just to mattify them down so that the products have something to um, adhere to because I find if I don't do this, the products kind of just slip around and rub off really easily because my skincare underneath is not oily, but you know. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills can you see that? Brow freeze, brow styling wax. I just started using this and I, at first I didn't like it, but now I actually love it. I think I just needed to figure out how to use it and the powder really helps, but it's just this kind of thick, it's like an oily gel consistency. I got these new brushes for a job the other day. They're by Spectrum. How beautiful are they? And they're actually really good as well. So I'm gonna take the A24. It's just like a brow slash liner brush with a spoolie on the end. I needed a fresh spoolie because all my other ones are full of this product. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that. And I just brush my brows upwards like that. Give them a nice shape and just try to stick them down. I just take my finger and push it down just to ensure that it will stay in place. Oh no, there's a bit of powder in there. Try not to put too much powder if you're doing this because sometimes it makes your eyebrows go kind of crusty. I've definitely had that problem before. But yeah, you can see the difference is immense. So I'm just gonna do the other side real quick. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 11.20. So we're trying to get to Printworks before 2 p.m. I think that's what the tickets are. So I need to hurry up because my friend Hannah's gonna come over before so we can travel together, but also so we can have some pre-drinks here. So I haven't got that much time. I also was thinking of making a top out of tights for this event today. So I need to, I need to hurry. The next product I'm gonna use, look at the state of that. <laughs> disgusting. I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Love this, it's really effective. I really like the colour and it's just super easy to use. I'm either between that or the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen, which looks like this. Sometimes I just add a bit of that on top. I really like this for like precise brow hair details, but if I'm feeling lazy, which is most days, I'll just use this. I'm just gonna basically draw a line of the shape I want under my brow. I've like shaved the end of my brow off so I'd like to take it kind of more straight rather than coming down because it lifts your face a bit I think and I just prefer that shape on me. And yeah then I just do hair strokes and just fill in the gaps. I like my brows quite intense. 
especially once my eye makeup's done. Like, I'm gonna look angry for a bit, but then when, once everything's done, it all kind of comes together really nicely. Is that my phone yet? The group chat's popping off, you guys. Yeah, so I just do like little hair strokes, and then I might just kind of brush through the front to make it a little bit less intense. The next step in my brows is to carve it out with concealer. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. As you guys can see, this is well loved, because it is disgusting. And I'm just taking that on like a flat, Shader brush, is that what it's called? Packing brush? I don't, I don't know, I'm not a makeup artist. This just really finishes off the look and makes them look really clean, but also it helps to cover up the little bit of microblading that I have that kind of goes out of line with how I draw my brows on now. But I just love how clean and sharp it looks doing this. And I bring it all the way to the front, but I start on the outer edge so most of the product is focused there. And then I just blend it downwards and outwards and then pat any excess product in. And yeah, that's how I do my brows. But yeah, if you do want a more in-depth tutorial, including like how I shape them and laminate them and stuff, I will do that. Okay, so next step is the eyes. And I love this because it's it looks really good, but it's so quick and easy. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is in the shade Eden. And I like this one because it makes the brown pop more. Usually I just use the original, which has no color, but this one's good for this look. It's super pale, so it just makes the brown really pop. So you just put a little bit on your eyes. It's so easy. I'm gonna take like a big packing brush and just pat it in and I'm gonna bring it out as well because I do wing the eyeshadow. Honestly, this makeup look is so nice but it's also the easiest makeup look ever. So it's great for every day but it looks like you've made more effort than you actually have. Next step, I'm gonna take, so I've got this palette from Burberry. It's the Essentials Glow Palette, the Sculpt Blush and Highlight looks like this. I know it looks kind of janky. The rest of the palette is beautiful for the face, but I love these two for my eyes. So I'm going to take this one, which is like a sculpting cream on a flat brush again. I literally just place it on my eye really messily. I love this look as well because you don't have to be like too neat with it. I'm going to take a fluffier brush and literally just blend it out and wing it a little bit. And it doesn't matter if it's messy because we're going to clean it up with concealer underneath. So don't worry too much about the wing being tidy. You just want to get a blend so it's like much more blended at the top and deeper on the eyelid. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take this powder underneath and just go over it. So essentially you're just setting that colour down and like making it more intense. That's literally all I do, you guys. I told y'all it was easy. And then I'm gonna take that brush that I used for the powder just to blend out the edges so it's not super harsh at the top. Okay, I know I'm looking like I'm bruised right now, but I promise you, I promise you, it's gonna look good by the end of it. Okay, so now that the main part of the eyes is done, we can move on to the face. I'm just gonna zoom you guys out just a little bit. There we go. So for my face, I'm using my all-time favorite NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've got the shades Tahoe and Syracuse here. I'm gonna mix these two together. I literally only use the smallest amount. That's literally all I use, the tiniest amount. So what I might do though is, because I've got a few marks here, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of concealer on with my finger just to kind of cover those up a little bit more because I really like to use the least foundation possible. I think it gives a much more natural and flawless finish. So before I put my foundation on, I like to take the Urban Decay All Nighter and, <laughs> and just spray a few pumps onto my hand to mix the foundation into. I just feel like this helps it go on really nicely but also stay on for longer and better. I'm just gonna pat whatever's on the back of my hand onto my face. And as long as my forehead's clear, I never put foundation on my forehead because I, again, feel like it just looks a lot more natural and flawless. And it just doesn't look as cakey. I just don't think I look good with foundation on my face, uh, on my forehead. And it just goes all kind of cracked and stuff after a while. This is what works for me personally. So I'm gonna take the Nanshi Blush and Bronze Brush. I really like this for foundation, bit of a random one. And I'm literally just gonna start patting the foundation in. When you pat it in, your foundation doesn't move around and you get a really nice flawless finish and it doesn't seem to like crease as much. Someone playing football on their balcony over there. <laughs> and I'll take whatever's on the back of my hand to kind of fill in any gaps. So as you guys can see, that looks, it pretty much looks like skin. Like, just gives a really nice finish in my opinion. And I know my forehead might look a bit weird now, but once you add like the contour and bronzer and stuff, it all comes together really nicely. For contour, I'm going to be using the Fenty Nude Stick in the shade Truffle. I love this product so much. I'm much more of a cream, bronze, blush, contour kind of gal. And I'm taking it on this, I think it's a Morphe brush, it's just like a rounded brush. I don't know, I just really like this for contour. And I literally just 
put the brush in and start tapping the product in once again and I don't start down here I start a bit higher just to give my face a bit more of that lifted look I feel like it really suits my face I feel like it suits everyone's face it's just super flattering and then I'll take a little bit and put it around my chin just to give the illusion of like a more pointy chin and then obviously take it across my jawline as well hopefully slim it down a little bit before the Botox kicks in make it look sharp and then I also apply this product on my forehead. I bring it in a little bit just to kind of warm it up and add a bit of shape up here as well. And as you guys can see now, that just brings the whole face look together and there was no need for foundation. Honestly, you guys, sometimes less is more. Like it really gives a flawless finish when you don't use a whole lot of foundation. I'm gonna clean up under there a little bit with my foundation brush. So now I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm not very good at this, so it is what it is. I'm gonna take this tiny brush and I'm just gonna come from my brows downwards. One thing I've learned is when you're doing your contour on your nose, don't do a straight line down. You wanna bring it in a little bit just to kind of slim the nose even more. I just think it looks a lot better on my nose shape anyway, because I haven't got a small nose to begin with. It's not very like um, structured, so this really helps to add in that bit of shape and structure and just really clean up the makeup look. And then I'll put some underneath here just to shorten my nose a bit and give that kind of lifted button effect. And then a little bit across here as well. And then I'll just blend that out to the sides a little bit. I'm gonna cover this with powder anyway, so it will look less crazy in just a moment. But as you guys can see that really kind of thins out the nose and gives it a nice little bit of structure. I'm gonna put a bit of the highlight from this palette on as well. I don't really highlight anymore, but I just like to put a little bit on my nose to kind of accentuate the sculpting that I've just <laughs> tried to do. So now I'm gonna take that same powder I was using on my brows and I'm gonna pack it onto that same brush, I'm so shaky, and just pack it onto here and bake for a little bit. This is the only part of my face that I do this to because I really like glowy skin. I don't think I look good with a matte makeup look, but I really like to bake around my contour just to accentuate it and make sure it stays for longer. We're gonna bronze using the Fenty Nude Stick in the shade Suede. Basically, I just put this a little bit on top of the contour just to help blend it out. Oh, I forgot to do my concealer. One sec. For my highlighting concealer, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk once again. I don't know what the shade is, I'm sorry. It's all rubbed off. I'm taking that same brush again that I used for the powder. Just taking a little bit of concealer and I just put a little bit here and a little bit here. And this is just gonna help to knee up the wing of your shadow. As you guys can see, it just looks super clean now. And again, just really lift the face. Like you guys can see the difference. It's insane. Oh, it looks so good, it looks so snatched. I'm gonna go back over with the bronzer just to blend that out a little bit. And again, you guys, a little goes a long way. Whoops, that might have even been a bit too much there. For blush, I'm using the Fenty Cheeks Help Freestyle Cream Blush. I'm reading this upside down in the shade Rose Latte. Guys, this is disgusting. But this is just to show you how well loved this product is. I'm just gonna pack it on my brush. And again, I'm just dabbing it in and I'm bringing it higher up once again to give that lifted look. I'm not putting it on the apples. I don't really have apples anyway. I'm just putting it kind of on the tops of my cheekbones and bringing it up to my temple. Oh, I love this color so much. So I put blush on my nose as well, but before I do that, I'm just gonna brush off that bit of bacon. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit with my finger because I feel like that still looks a bit harsh. I'm just gonna take a bit of that blush across my nose as well. I just think it ties everything together and it looks so cute. Now with my blush, I like to kind of set it a little bit and I love these shades of blush from the Burberry Essentials Glow Palette. I literally just drag my brush up and down across these two. They're really beautiful. They have a really nice glow. They're kind of reminiscent of the NARS Orgasm blush. But yeah, I just like to put a little bit of that on top just to intensify it a little bit, but also just kind of set the blush into place. Oh, these are just beautiful. I'm speechless. So from there, there's only really a few more steps. This makeup look is super easy and quick. I literally love it so much for every day. I have a little beauty mark there and a little one under my eye. I don't know if you guys can see it now because I've concealed it. But I like to bring those back because I just feel like it helps to make the makeup look again a bit more natural. And I just think they're really pretty. So I like to add them back in. I'm using a brown liquid liner from Colourpop. Everything's rubbed off because I use it so much. Nah. And there you go. 
they're back. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Bomb Noir. Love this stuff. And before you guys say that my eyelashes are really nice anyway, I use Lilash. I swear by this, you guys. Just be patient with it if you haven't used it before. Give it like six weeks. This changed my lash life. It is insane. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop some mascara on. I like to do two coats of this. And then I'm just gonna drag a little bit through the bottom. I don't want my bottom lashes to be super intense because I like my eyes to look lifted. And yeah, I just like the look of heavier lashes on the top, I guess. And I like to kind of draw it out a little bit as well, like bring the brush out this way, just again to pull the lashes more to the side and make your eyes look a bit more lifted and kind of um, cat eye shape. Just a touch underneath. Mostly on the outer corner. And then finally, we're gonna do the lips and then we're done. So I get so many questions about this as well. I always use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. And my go-to is usually Nighthawk, but I've just discovered the shade Conspiracy. If you guys watched my last makeup video, you will have seen it. And it's just a bit more brown toned. I love it. The lighting is just going crazy today. I apologize, guys. I just outline my lips. I go a little bit higher on the left side because my lip on the left side is actually like lower. So I just kind of cheat the shape of my lips a little bit. This is the thing that just brings everything together. I love it. How nice is that color? I go over my cupid's bow just a little bit to give myself a bit more of a pouty lip. And I kind of prefer a rounder look on my lips. And then from there, I'm just gonna fill in all the outer edges, pretty much all of my lips. I love this lip liner, it's so creamy, it's like a lipstick. And I do like to leave a little bit of a gap just to give that kind of ombre effect and make my lips look a bit fuller. Oh, I usually use a lip tint as well. It would either be this Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love in Tripping on Love, or I use the Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tint. Love this so much. All her products are absolutely beautiful. I haven't done that today. I don't know why. I just forgot, I guess. The finishing step is to just use a plumping lip gloss. So I'm going to go back in with that Too Faced lip injection. Oh, I've just got that on my teeth. My tongue is now going to go numb. Yeah, just a bit of that on top. And then just wait for it to make your lips. Because this kind of gives my lips colour as well. Because all the blood rushes to them. But yeah, just wait for your lips to plump up. And that is my makeup look, you guys. Hopefully that was helpful for some of you guys. I hope it gave some of you some inspiration. But that's it. How to catfish your way into looking 10 years younger. <laughs> oh, by the way, my earrings. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get questions on these. They're so cute. My friend Helena made these. Her shop is Mango Pickle Lover. I will leave the link down below. They're all one-off pieces that she makes. So she might not have them in stock now, but she might do some more later. She's got some other colours, but she's also got loads of other amazing pieces so definitely check her shop out she's incredible i'll leave her channel link down below as well and her instagram because she's just the coolest chick and i know that you guys will love her instagram i'm pretty sure most of you follow her anyway but if you don't go check her out so yeah now i'm gonna go try and figure out an outfit for this i think i'm gonna try and cut tights into a top i don't know how successful it's gonna be but we're gonna give it a go <laughs> right it is 12 18 so i believe you're good to crack open the mouthy i want the lemon one i really like this one it feels illegal drinking at this time, at this age, <laughs> in this weather. But at least it will warm me up, I guess. I need a bit of Dutch courage to try and um, get my way through the security with no ID. <laughs> I'm scared. Guys, I've even got the glass they gave me when I worked with them. How cool is that? I've never understood why gin glasses are so excessive, but I kind of love it. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this elderflower cordial, because I don't have any mixers. I'm going to pop some gin in there. <laughs> I don't know how much to pour out. That's probably a lot, isn't it? I haven't really eaten anything either. Bit of gin. Guys, please drink responsibly, by the way. I don't want to be encouraging anyone to do anything silly. And then from my soda stream bottle, which is literally, soda, soda stream is a machine, if you guys don't know, that literally turns your flat water into fizzy water. It's incredible. I would highly recommend. I'm just gonna pour that in. And now I've got myself a cheeky little gin and elderflower. So cheers to that. That is delicious. Mm. Right, I've never done this before, so you guys are gonna have to wish me luck. I think you just cut the crotch out. We're just gonna try it. I really wish I could play music whilst doing this. I remember the good old days when YouTube didn't copyright you for this stuff. The good old days when I was young and wild and free. <laughs> right, let's do this. But first, we must take a sip of the old gin. I think you're meant to cut a hole out of the crotch. I really hope that I'm not going to ruin a good pair of tights for this. Oh, these are the worst scissors, one sec. I don't really mind if it looks raggedy, but it's just, can these actually cut through tights? 
apparently not. Everything you drop is so dire. Music is supposed to inspire. Tell me your philosophy. He looks more like a top now. I think you have to cut out the feet as well. The little toes. So you can get your hands through. Oh my God, it's tight. I don't know if these are gonna to be too tight. I feel like I've failed already. <laughs> Did I cut the neckline way too big? Oh, it looks cool though. I'm kinda into it, I'm kinda into it. I feel like we need to cut holes into it though. And like thumb holes and stuff. <laughs> How's that? That's kind of cute, right? With some black trousers or a black skirt. I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, I can't be asked to do any more, so that's what we're working with. Should I do like a little... Would that be weird? I think that'd be kind of cool. Like that? Yeah. I like it. Hi guys, the queen has arrived. Hello. <laughs> We're about to do some tequila shots. No toes. We need. <laughs> <laughs> we need some. Uh, well, I need some it's extra courage. Friend. Yeah, I'm. I'm feeling like I'm not gonna get in. Why does my highlighter look so wild right now? It's you're just a wild bad child. lighting. Wild child. So um, this is actually bottle of tequila that Hannah and her sister Emma, both my besties, um, got me for my birthday. So we are cracking it open. Are we gonna, I'm gonna have some shots. <laughs> oh my God. That smells like tomorrow. Fill it soup. right to the top. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually done with you, I love oh, it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, oh, Where's the salt and lime at? Do you want well, I've got lime juice in a bottle. No, that's silly. Do you want some salt? Oh, I haven't got any. Do you really do that every time? Because I just... Not every time, though. No. I just... You know? Oh, God. Knock <laughs> <laughs> oh, it back. Yeah, literally. Knock it back. It's fine. You've got a chaser. Where do you want to make a chaser? Have you got pineapple juice? <laughs> no. Uh, well, what could the chaser? The next drink in it. <laughs> the, 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 the vodka. The more alcohol. Yeah, but it's still got mixer in it, so it won't taste so bad. Can we do that? Tree prep. Okay. Do 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 do. Prep. She's making extra sounds. Is a French frog in here? Oh, I just closed the cupboard. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Why am I cold? It's actually warm. Do you think I'll be cold in there? Definitely not. If I get in. Cheers to me getting in. You were. I'm scared. What's your thoughts? Alright, alright, alright. Bottoms up. <laughs> I need to block my nose. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stop it. It's going everywhere. Looks like. Damn it. Right. <laughs> what? Oh, the ice is out. Shit. <laughs> You're doing it on purpose. Everywhere. I'm literally. You're like tapping it out. I'm not <laughs> All over my face. <laughs> Stop making me laugh! Yeah, just fat tequila all over my fucking face. I don't have to. I don't have to. Now to... <laughs> <laughs> nah, you've got to do another one for that. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's so do it. Let's just fuck it to it. Cheers. It's bad, but it's oh. nice. <laughs> it's not as. <sighs> Disgusting, what are you talking about? It's not as petrolly as sorry, like this, this might other ones. It's because it's organic, baby girl. That's nice. But guys, I think you need to see our, <laughs> our traditional <laughs> dance move. Uh, Hannah Banani, oh, you're going to you, you you gonna get your ass over here. We've got to show everyone the, the traditional dance move. Ready? Good. <laughs> 